Welcome to another interesting episode of Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring to you and analyze the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and of course, to do the talking and analysis with me, I've got my interesting co-anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwa. Ife Omai! And Ife Oluwa Shukai. Shukai, yeah! I don't have you pushed straight at this time. <laughs> What's up? Hi, Ife Omai. I'm going to do this throughout this show. Once I your take if you're mine okay okay well, cool uh, yeah mm. <laughs> okay the first story seems no it is sad not mm. seems um singer joel amadi says his dad has been killed by headsmen in kaduna the announcement of his father's death comes barely 10 hours after the singer lamented that the killings go about the killings going on in kaduna the recording artist called out um, the Kaduna state governor nasir el rufai whom he accused of not doing enough to curb the state of terrorism in kaduna state mm. sam clef no ni uh uh god no ni uh uh this is joel amadi I know, okay. but Sam Clef. Yeah, we'll get uh, there. We'll get oh, there. we are? <laughs> <laughs> they don't need to together, though. Uh, yeah, they are together, kind of, but yeah. Okay, so I just can't get over Sam Clef. <laughs> That's well, he's doing something. It, no, no, what okay, he did is Maybe we should very, just introduce very, the second topic as well, yeah. so um, we can carry everyone along. So Sam Clef stages one-man protest at Nigerian Embassy over the same Kaduna killings. Um, of course, his name is Samuel Oguachuba. I hope I spelled that, said that right. He says his one-man protest at the Nigerian Embassy in Washington, D.C. is to call the world's attention to the recent killings in the southern part of Kaduna State. Mm. So why is that funny? Honestly, he said, "Why is that funny? Why with that face?" <laughs> what is, what's what's that? I, I, I used to know yes. now. All right, so what Sam Clef did is very on point. But the fact that it's Sam Clef and the fact that Twitter has just been saying all sorts of things about this, mm. I think that's what makes it funny. But what Sam Clef and, and support it is what we I think he's doing something for. way more Hold honorable on. than what Harry Song did. Mm. Yeah, which is yeah. what we we've been advocating for. That every celebrity use your platform, use your voice. May take a stand um probably because this is america so they don't know some well i i guess if this was nigeria too nobody would follow but, hey, but, uh, but what did but, sam clef do to you no i'm just saying is that's what twitter twitter that's so what twitter, you had that's, what, twitter that's what twitter <laughs> does to you no 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 you're just like you're yeah, consuming it so mm. much yeah that's what twitter does to you it just makes you a drag. Please, can we go back to the days where you were solely on Instagram? Thank you. Honestly. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, In regards to Joe, you know, he looks a lot like Two Face mm, to me, Sha. Yeah. So when I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, Two Face is tired. No, he has not like a whole lot. Yes, there's a resemblance, but you know, when you have the rough Two Face and the fresh Two Face, yeah. Two Face is the fresh one. Joe looks what like the saying? rough Two Face. Like, right. yeah. How? Why was Joe rough? But Joe is a handsome right. as well. He's handsome, it's but it's not as, well. not as fresh as Two Face. Yeah, no, it's not as fresh as Two Face. Okay, let's not make. Too, I don't chops, like the way this conversation is going. I don't like the way this conversation is going left, right. My heart goes out to Two Face part, you know. And honestly, the killing is for some reason. I don't feel like I'm getting informed as a citizen of Nigeria about the killing. I, I thought I have more information about way. the um, Iraq and. Honestly, I have more yeah. information about American, Trump than I do the about 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 the killings. It's weird. I don't know why. And no each time one is... it comes on social media, they try to say it is fake news, yeah. which is why I'm sorry this has happened to someone like Joel and his family. But of course, there are so many other families that will be suffering from this situation. But it's good and to I'm of, saying that, yeah. yes, we have a face to this now and someone that can actually corroborate to say yeah. these killings are happening. Because I remember, I think it was last month or thereabout, where this level of killings allegedly happened as well. Mm. They came out to say it's not true, where the wife of the governor was saying he, she just um, uh, she doesn't have the wife of the governor on her bio so nobody should expend, expect too much from her you know so I don't know why there isn't any communication I don't know why we don't value life in this part of the world why I don't so know why silence. even the governor is not holding a press conference yeah. I don't know what's going uh, it's, on. it's crazy to me that there is so much silence on the killing it's almost like they know why there's a killing. That's the only reason why you can act like that. If you are if you are taken aback as we are, then you should react like a normal human being. They're reacting like people who know something that we don't know. Like kind of like guys, this is supposed to be no. like you no, know, it's supposed to be in the corner. Let's not talk about it. Like mm -hmm. let it happen. Type of vibe. I, I'm really confused because I, I 
because because of this topic, I actually went and for the first time really to go look at it. I didn't get any more. I didn't get much information no, from from tangible sources. It was all social media and all videos, which is not very easy to confirm. So, like you said, it's almost like it's a breathable conversation for conspiracy theory because mm -hmm. you don't know. And it's 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 sad for Joe to come out and say his per like his dad. Yeah, died from this. Like that that is pretty full on to me, and I don't know why this is not being heard. It's I sad. don't. I, I I'm not gonna lie. I don't think. Um, um, Sam Cliff, Sam Cliff's um, performance really wowed me in any way. Honestly, honestly speaking, it didn't. But I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> you even made it worse. Like. No, it didn't. No, um, it wowed me just because it's Sam Cliff. You it know? doesn't need to wow you. What he wants to do is to get attention. I mean, look at it. We are talking about the fact that these killings are happening in a state. Or okay, let me use the proper term according to them. Allegedly happening, but it's not allegedly any, anymore yeah, with this no. um, uh, um, information. Yeah. So if it's happening and the government of the state is not reacting appropriately, then maybe we need the world to intervene for them to do something. You know, the herdsmen kill and is as um, mysterious as the Boko Haram because mm. I don't know how it's we can... mysterious so because they know themselves. They are human beings. They're of course, they're conspiracy theories, but I I'm not... They are, they are conspiracy theories, but I'm not um, permitted to speak about Same. Such, Same. such conspiracy theories mm. and all. But um, at the end of the day, I think we know how to cop these things if we want to. We do. I think we know... I'm not talking about us, not us. Yeah, <laughs> the people involved, they know how to stop these things, but... Obviously, because of the powers that may be. So what has to so be we done? How many lives that do don't we mind need to? I didn't Christians say, don't please, killed. don't quote me. I'm not sure okay, I, think I don't have that type of strength. for a quick break. <laughs> but when we come back, we'll lighten the mood. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide that every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. <laughs> <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling alright. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal are you. Mm. Apala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi like Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping early. <laughs> Sleeping early. <laughs> Welcome back. This is Tilti Time on Plus TV Africa. Rapper McMill splits with girlfriend two months after welcoming a baby. So there's the speculations, but now he's confirming well, the split, confirmed, yeah? yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what's going on. I feel like there is... I mean, this is personal and it doesn't have to be what's supposed to be the standard, but I feel like there's a deliberate attitude or attempt that is fostering the whole idea of single parenting. Like... Why can't people just decide if they want to really be together and raise children? I know, yes, it's a way of life to... I mean, you can decide what you want if well, you're not happy working with what what I'm tired... What am I saying? Yes, I'm tired of us having too many single mothers and single yeah. fathers. I think mm -hmm. as much as we, we might not want to admit it, it will definitely affect the next generation. Oh, I, oh, I am in support of... Um, McMill's decision though with Milano right. in the sense that um, it is a mutual agreement. And no, of course, I'm in support of it. I'm no, just no, 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 saying... no, I know, I get yeah. I'm just saying that. And also in the sense of co parenting, <laughs> right? Like mm. they would still be in the child's it's life. Said it's not... it. No, no, if it's, if it's on, if it's on an amic amicable resolution, then I think it would be like that. But why single parenting sometimes might just be the best idea is that you need to think about the child's future and the environment in which the child grows. Mm -hmm. If we are toxic for each other, if we're always fighting and throwing tantrums, right, then it's better we don't raise a child in that type of environment and go like our that, separate ways. I feel like that way. conversation or that thinking should have happened before the baby comes out. So for Sometimes me, you don't plan having mm, a child. I think, I think you, don't you plan know. Plan I think, I think it's irresponsible it's for yeah. any adult yes, to, at this time and age, oh, say, to, I did not plan uh, having a child. Yeah. Yes, it happens. Mistake happens. And these people the are the educated. Oh, they have oh, all oh, the resources oh, oh, available. A lot of people would not agree to that. If you're not taking contraceptives, if you're not using condoms, if you're not taking morning after pills, you surely are preparing. Wait. 
Wait, do you know people's um, sexual libidos are different from every other person? The, what which if is I why like you, can, to, you can actually I, buy wait, unlimited condoms. What if I have actually, to have sex? If you have unlimited I'm talking about libidos. a girl. I'm talking about a woman now. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. If a woman has to have sex like five times a week, uh -huh. are you saying she should go be taking uh, morning after pills? Morning after pills. 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 Morning after What's the other option? There's so many but those things other have, they have options. side effects, right? Uh, if I, the I point guess. is, let's not digress to family planning. <laughs> the point is but that I guess. I she's not she going to. She's, she cannot. If she, this is her first child, she's been she's been protecting herself before then. She obviously did not make the. Well, I say informed decision with mm, this person. If yeah. you're going to break up with the person two months after that, it's. I, I liked how you even put it because it was a bit more conservative and nice. But I'm really against it, and I don't like this notion of making it look like co-parenting apart is even cool. Like it's okay. It's not. It's actually really messed up for the family. It's even probably more twisted for parents who both parents who are involved in their lives than parents that, that, that fight that, every no, day no that parents that, than just separate parents because what you're doing is toiling with the child's emotion How, uh, from what i know most of the time that child grows up to like they're adults trying to put their parents together mm -hmm. because they love mommy and they love daddy and they don't know why mommy and daddy are together it doesn't it doesn't sit well with me when they say oh but we're amicably together and we're really really cool especially when it's just really like like together? are you really actually I mean, ever this is amicable not to judge anyone i don't even uh. know why i'm in that mood today but that's basically how i feel and i hope what's the name that, of the actress that, that they can be better people that has a timetable for staying with a husband the actress that only sees her husband on wednesdays and fridays but they know they are together, right? Yeah. They just live in separate homes. And yeah. because of work, they Not have to work. stay separate. They it's because of work. work. Are you sure? Uh, was, yeah. that, was that the reason they gave? Mm -hmm. She said it's because of work. Okay. Even if it's not because of what you cannot compare. There is no separation because there is a joint front. So even if there's a child in that mix, we communicate, we understand. You know, Mick also said we still love each other. So I believe they're still I believe they're still doing some things behind the scenes. So things like what? And you shall you like them. Uh, we need to just do better, I beg. When you're bringing children <laughs> in, I feel like my level of tolerance or like my level of responsibility that I'm expecting from you just goes on to like a, another degree. If you're bringing a child in, make sure it's have like have that conversation. What could possibly happen after two months that the baby came that you know that you had not seen before? The then? diaper was too wet. Like what? What really? is it? Anyway, moving on. Yemi Alade um, and Yule Doche are advising youths to show interest in politics. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so good advice. I like um, what they both said, and I like the way Yule Doche um, went to buttress a point by saying, don't just join political parties. Also, get involved, run for political offices. It's, it's okay to lose. It's okay. It's, uh, rejection doesn't mean you're not good enough. Sometimes you get rejected for because they're preparing you for something greater than that. So it's okay to lose. Just keep pushing at it. And what you also said, that it would also inform you about the things. Yes, you know, all those questions we're asking now. If you're a member of a political party, when during their meetings, they'll be telling you about the headsman, who is in charge, who is this, who is that. But so you can join the dialogue, basically. You yeah. can join the dialogue. You can well, actually you see, know. So we can know where to tackle the problems from. But if I just hear, say, hear, say, hear, say, how are we really going to move forward? So I'm... I'm, I'm in I'm hundred percent in support of the both of them, I mean, and I, I'm thinking of joining a political party. So I mean, maybe how you, you guys do you join my next question? So what party are you <laughs> planning to join? The winning team, birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's it called? I, I I agree to a large extent, but I think politics for me, because I know not everyone's going to be interested in politics, and that's okay. But I think politics for me is a lot like like a lot of other things that need mentoring. Like I think you need people to teach you about that. And we mm. don't really have that dialogue here. I've seen a lot of young people who are into politics that are really into politics. The thing that's missing for me is that handover that the older people are giving to the younger ones. That listen, let me show you the ropes and let me and, and it's not necessarily benefiting your pocket. The only people I see who have that are literally sons to these governors. That they're the ones, okay, come on, let me teach you how to steal. <laughs> That's a better way of saying it. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that's what's happening. But I don't see a lot of people spend a lot of time to either, maybe not go on live. That might be too millennial. But like 
support things that are um, communicating to the grassroots, to communicating to just regular young people who are interested in politics. So as much as I'm all for, the, for young people to have um, an interest in politics, I already think that exists. I think what's really lacking is the mentorship to, mm. to, to that. Mm. And is the system really welcoming? And that's is another it? thing. Mm -hmm. Is the system really welcoming? Because it's to tell but anyone like, going to like politics. Like the issue mm -hmm. you started with. I think the only part that interests me in all this is ensuring that your voting power is, is something you mm. use, which I think who mentioned that? I think both of them mentioned it anyway. Mm. So um, that's the only power we can hold on to, regardless of what anyone thinks about it, whether it ballot bush snatching, rigging or whatever. I don't know. But at least hold on to that in my count. You never can tell. Mm. Yeah. Like the issue you started with, which is um, mentoring. Mm. And um, a lot of these political parties, they already have their people that mm. they even want to be members but of But because parties. these people have been part of that party system too for a long time. Mm. So it's more like reaping what you have sowed. So yeah. if you are on the outside, how exactly do you even get to the point of being considered to run for any yeah. position? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And that. the of course, that's probably why there isn't a very hungry um, appetite for politics. Because if I, even if I'm interested in politics and I see the amount, the, the fact that you're telling me that this system that's put in place isn't really built for me to enter into, my, my, my uh, interest would die off a little bit, I think. True that. True that. Okay, uh, moving on to, I guess, the final story. Twitter goes off on Toke Makenwa over reports that her Banana Island house has been seized by Abko. So, um, this story, eh? It's been, on social media, of course, it's trending. She's and... the number one trending topic on Twitter. Oh, she is? Okay, cool. And um, so this is being linked back to a rumor of, um, I think it was a year ago or two years. Was it up two years? I think it was two a year. Ago, is it two years ago? Going two years, mm. I think, years of um, the man that she was allegedly dating, who the children came out um, You don't to, call his name. Um, I'm trying to remember his name now. Do you know his name? Oh, it's yes, I do, name. but I would like you to. I can't remember his name. But anyway. Start with F. Yeah, start with F. F. Yes. It doesn't end with F. Like, the two, F. the two names start with F. It can't end with F. If oh, okay, <laughs> sorry. Okay, it start, the first name is F. and the la Oh, so, so I, you know the name. Yeah, so. Oh, no, no, baby. I... I why won't you just call the it? The point Be a baby is... Girl. Baby girl that cannot call names. It's not only baby girl. Hey. <laughs> the no, baby girls buy houses and cars and beg. The point is that she's... They're saying the house has been taken over by Amcom based on servicing of loans, mm. according to the man. And I recall, if I can recall vividly, the children came out at the time to say he was spending so much on Tokem Akinwa okay, yeah. while he had um, loans to... Mm service so i don't know i really don't know how this is going i don't know how she's going to then, respond to this owning a bank but... at least like 500 billion <sighs> a very popular bank the power of her baby girl darling anyway she and kind of responded so to much. something what did she say when somebody said um something in the ration of like you're making this girl trend it's fake news blah 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 mm -hmm. she now replied and said they should continue, we move, and they should put emoji, emoji, emoji. No, I emoji. think what the person was saying, because I've been through, don't worry, I'm, I'm now on Twitter streets, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, what the person was saying is that, why do people take so much joy in seeing somebody fall right. and that these are the same people that will still slide in your DM for giveaways and mm. things like that. And she said that we will still help them. That mm. took her, take note of these names. We won't, yeah. don't give them. And she was like, we will still help them. We mm. move. Mm -hmm. So, from that alone, right, mm. I really can't tell the um, authenticity of this story, right? Because she hasn't come out to yeah. tell us that. Is she ever going to she come out to say that? She seems Okay, my point now, well, I think I would away from all me, this so. drama and whether to came out or whatever, I mean, it's her life. She's an adult and she can live it the way she wants to. But my problem is if and if and if and if <laughs> this daddy is owing this amount of money, why is it that most of our billionaires are... Debtors mm. living large lives on top of loans. Mm. I mean, what is I don't understand the sense behind it. I don't understand. I you were defending them like a few weeks ago when Who you were saying that, um, that do you know these people service loans to maintain a life? Or no, something? I was, I, I was actually, thank God I brought it up then. I was telling you that this is the kind of lives they live. So you need to begin to ask yourself if that is the kind of sleepless night you want to have. But I don't, okay, okay, okay I think nights. we prayed on but it and we have, said we don't want to be that type of billionaire. Because if you oh, have yeah, sleepless that. nights, you will not be. <laughs> this story is too heavy for the mouth. Well, I, what, what I just, I just wish to get the best of luck. Yeah. And um, whether it's true or not true, mm. I want to take it from the and, angle. Sorry, I said angle. 
Twitter is a social, too much social media. Mm. <laughs> but so then, are you seeing the angle where people are saying, so if this is true, why didn't you make sure that house yeah, is but in that's, your name? That's what I'm trying to, that's where I'm okay. getting at exactly. That so whether this is true <laughs> <laughs> or not true, I want people to know that when you're getting a gift, mm -hmm. Always put your name on well, it. I'm not talking about too, like, the gender week, right? now. Even if it's a woman that gives it to you, if it's a friend that but gives it to you. But how can you authorize a gift like that? And say, oh, darling, while you're at it, can you put it in my name? Like, I don't, I don't know. No, no, I wait. think it's possible. Because if, if you are having that conversation, first of all, say, Elsie, go and stay in this my house. That is, I'm just going to ask you is on it what temporary? basis. Is it temporary? Is it, it permanent? Matter? And if you say it's but permanent, they please change the name. I will move in until it changes. No, what if I already had a house? I bought the house and I want you to stay in there for as long as you want. That's as long as you want. Yeah. That's what about offer. when I die? This man we're talking about is over <laughs> 80 <laughs> years old. Like, you see, you see, to me, there's nothing wrong with that. I think the only issue here is because, is it, for me, the correlation of the fact that she's kind of acted like she it's owns house, the houses. Yeah. For me, there's nothing wrong. The yeah. right, if the right person comes and gives me a house and it's not in my name, I will move in. And if I want to, I'll put it on social media and say, wow, look at my palo, because it's my palo and my house or whatever. But if I start, no, if I it's not yours. To, it, it, it's talking about, it is. Talking it is. about, talking about owning houses that are not yours or claiming can. There's a tea of some of our, one of our oh, gosh. amazing actor. Please allow. <laughs> that the house is not his own. But I'm not going to drop the tea yet. Let's just move on as we're about to end the show. Anyways. <laughs> Me see, no, There's nothing if wrong you with get, it. If I buy you a bottle of perfume now, Yes. I cannot right? say it's my perfume. I'm gifting that to you. Uh, so I can't that's, say that's perfume, perfume now. Wait, you no, cannot come and say you want to carry a bottle you of perfume. Get so and if you carry like, it so... That's what I'm saying. That anything that is a gift, eh? Uh -huh. Make sure it is solely yours. Not that you now mistakenly break that bottle now. Yeah, and I'll and come say, and tell where's you, my perfume? Ah, where's my perfume? See, there's nothing know. wrong with that. Right, we have to go do, wrong but with I wish her to care. that. It's because she said, oh, I built my house at 25. Yeah, I'm going to my home house. You think it's not stupid that sometimes you give people a cup? How many people are living in houses that are not theirs? There's nothing wrong with it. See, if I'm giving me a house, I'll move in. Don't worry, I want you. don't need to change Sometimes my you give people a gift and they'll be like, Oh, really? She just saw that market. Yeah, dear, look it. Anyway, thank oh, you for watching time. and best of luck to Token Makewa on this job. And that's how we wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Um, of course, you can send your opinions via WhatsApp to 090 605719 or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. My thank you as always to go to my interesting co anchors, Ife Omai <laughs> and Ife Olu Oshinke <laughs> and the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin. Please do stay safe.